press conference uh, following the launching Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix. It's super in every way here tonight. A wonderful finish to the competition. Delighted to welcome, welcome up, uh, yeah, and yeah, on uh, behalf of uh, the uh, team here and of course the uh, top three from the Super Grand Prix as well. We're Tops Alexander, Luca Beerbaum and Frank Schutters. Jan Tops to come to you first of our group. The Super Grand Prix, as I just said, was everything the name suggested. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, there was today no word for the... You know, I thought in the beginning of the week there's going to be drama happen happening, but so much drama I did not know. It was amazing and uh, exciting till the end. Um, you know, some horses who are, you know, unex unexpected, uh, you know, digging out with Harry and a few things other what you normally don't see uh, on this kind of level, but uh, you know, it is the highlight of the year, all the champions of every event together. And then this kind of, of sport uh, is, is as a, you know, someone who loves the sport so much, is amazing to see. It's obviously first time this has been done. It's an amazing first time. Yeah, we, we could not dream better. The whole picture is, from A to Z, is, is fantastic. Uh, the, you know, the arena, um, you know, the, the public, we have new public, um, how enthusiastic, how the great atm atmosphere from, for every rider, you know, what we had, this was unique. Uh, Uliano, like always, uh, uh, you know, he did a, a very difficult course, delicate, but uh, still fair, no, no, uh, no hurting of the horses. I mean, the whole picture this week was, was perfect and, uh, you know, it was a dream come true. And I must say, also for Prague here, for the people of Prague, who, who organize this kind of caliber of event, all the teams and, and the organization, I think that there are worth uh, a big applause for that as well. Right? Absolutely, it's been very good. Well, shall that neatly bring me to Jan, from the, from the president of the Launching Global Champions Tour, to our event director here, Jan. Uh, we've just seen it there. We've seen it unfold this week. Well done on an amazing event. We've still got another day to go yet. But what is it like for you now seeing this event reach this kind of level? Well, it is uh, for us uh, absolutely amazing. It's an uh, incredible honor for us to welcome the best riders, the best horses and global champions uh, in Prague, in Czech Republic. It's, uh, it's really amazing. It has never been uh, here you know, in the Eastern or Central Europe. So it's a very big thing for us that, it's, uh, that Prague is the first one. So really honored and thank you very much for that. And, and Jan mentioned the crowds in there. I mean, there's been sensational crowds following us all the way through and, and tonight lifted up to a new level. Great to see such local support. Yes, uh, we are very proud of it that we have such a big, uh, big number of visitors uh, to our events, and this is really going to help, uh, you know, the development of the sport in the Czech Republic and in the region. Well, it's wonderful to hear that. Let's go to our uh, top three. Let's go in, in reverse. So, if you if you hand across to Frank Schutter from the uh, Netherlands, third on Chianti's champion, Frank, you had one chance to get into this final. You won the Grand Prix at Valkenswald and your only appearance of the year. You finished top three. <laughs> Unbelievable. What What happens if we give you more chances? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't know what to say. I'm so, I'm so happy also with my horse. He, he jumped amazing again today as he did in Valkenswart. As you said, I had only one chance there. Uh, won it and now to be third with so many good riders around me. I'm just uh, very, very happy. Sum up for us a little of, of your feelings today of being a part of this? How have you felt coming into this as, as a newcomer, if you like? Well, I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky that I'm even here. As you said, uh, one chance. And, and there in Valkenswaard, I won by one hundredth of a second. So everything just fell into places. And then now I really saw that as my uh, a goal at the end of the season, it was such an amazing show with this crowd and it's a big happening, something I never saw before and I also didn't think it would ever be something like this. Also like the opening and uh, the walk of champions, things like that. I just knew, never saw it, it's amazing and uh, I'm, 
I'm really looking to be part of that now. Absolutely, looking forward to more, more from you. A little summing up for you on Chianti Champion, your horse today, your horse's performance, especially in the second round. I think uh, also the first round he jumped very good. We had a, a lucky fold on the on the forward fence actually. Uh, then I knew in, going into the second round when we walked the course it was a tough tough course, and uh, I just went for the clear round. Didn't think too much about uh, about my time, just to be in the time allowed. And uh, luckily that worked out. It was an amazing round I th I think, and uh, I was waiting for the others. I have to say that it took quite long and I was quite nervous with that, but uh, I'm very, very happy to be on the podium. And uh, I want to say well done to Edwina and Lutke. Uh, they were better today. Well, a wonderful finish for you. <laughs> Lutke, that brings me neatly to you. I, I don't know whether Edwina is more re reach or not. Thank you. Might reach close. Otherwise, I'll... you two get closer. There we go. <laughs> Lutke. We talked to you a little earlier on about being a part of this. You, you qualified in London. For, for those that know the full background of your career, I mean, we talked earlier in jest and in seriousness that you've, you've won Grand Prix across the world, that we'd nearly created a new Grand Prix that you hadn't won already, and you nearly did. Now, here for you, you're on the four faults. What, what was it like? We were watching your emotions going through in the warm-up before Edwina went in. You were getting closer and closer to winning this. Yes, indeed, it was uh, quite emotional, even for an old guy like me. Uh, you know, what should I say? First of all, to qualify here, I had a bit of a lucky punch, really, because I was not one of the 16 winners. I was uh, qualified with a third place in London, because the first two were already qualified. So that I would call pretty lucky. Um, and you then, qualify on gold medals, you read. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yes, you, we talk about the past, and I think today we've seen the, the future, really, in terms of athletes, and of course, in terms of uh, uh, venue and crowd and new country. So I think it's something really, really exciting. And uh, I'm not only lucky, I feel really fortunate. Uh, warming up, I saw my, we are the same generation, Jan and Jos, uh, in the warm-up and I myself on the horse and I was thinking about Barcelona 92 and Pete and Franke and all my colleagues and I'm still riding and I'm still part of it. Believe me, this is not just talking, this is, uh, I think I should, it's, it's a privilege and I, I really mean this and I feel it, honestly, so I'm not, it's not a joke, it's really, I'm aware of it and I'm very fortunate, so and it, it's really amazing and um, I also really think that this idea to, with the playoff for the first time, on one hand was, I thought both were quite brave to go in a new town, in a new country, and to, to start something like this. And the way it turned out, it's, I think, uh, really chapeau for everyone involved. The idea, but to make it work, to have such an venue with most modern with all the techniques in terms of marketing atmospheres I, i've said it before to me it's a milestone really and i enjoy being part of it well wonderful thank you <laughs> Luka, well done on your performance today thank you. ed wiener <laughs> i wish i had your luck <laughs> ed wiener nothing lucky in there you have had the most amazing three weeks. For anyone that's not away, you've won Grand Prix in Paris, you won the Grand Prix last week, you won the amazing Grand Prix here, you won the Grand Prix in Miami to get here, you're a twice winner of the Longchamp Global Champions Tour, and you are the first winner of the Super Grand Prix as well. And you've got a lot of trophies to go with it. <laughs> what are the, what, you want, you're going in there, down towards the end, Harry, we saw what had happened with Harry. What was going through your mind? Um, <clears throat> well, I felt quite sorry for Harry, to be honest. Um, you know, that sport, and that's what Jan was saying, and there's so many unexpected things that have been happening over these days, which is also making it very exciting. But um, I hadn't paid any attention to what Ludgo had done, because <laughs> I wasn't down in the paddock by then. Um, but I had looked at the results, and I had seen he was a bit faster than um, Frank, so I figured he probably had gone quite fast, but I didn't know what he had done. So um, anyway, I, I planned to jump a clear, <laughs> but um, somehow didn't happen halfway around the course. 
Um, I had planned originally to go inside to the triple combination, but um, my horse was just jumping so good, I thought, I'm just going to keep going and I'm not going to have a fence down. Nevertheless, it does happen, and it happened, but I managed to get myself organized <laughs> and, um, and finish clear and just a little bit faster. But I couldn't see the results anywhere, so I really didn't think I'd won, actually. I just thought the crowd was happy that I finished. So. <laughs> well done, you finished. Excellent. Um, you finished the winner, which is, which is a good thing. And, and what, you know, you, you obviously have a very close involvement in the way that this has all developed. What are your feelings now on seeing this launching Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix in a combination? I mentioned you won the championship twice, you've been involved in the development right the way through there as, as a big winner. This next, as, as Luca quite rightly put it, milestone in the sport. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's unique, this competition. Um, Every class in this whole show has been pressure for the riders, and that's what makes everything so exciting. It's um, a unique formula with the best winners from the whole year competing against each other for a lot of money, and we didn't jump for nothing. It was a very tough competition. We we're all in there for the same reasons. And um, I know that um, when Jan had the idea of having the playoffs, he did say he wanted to have something very special and unique and I think we can see that this has happened and like Ludger said it's a milestone in our sport um, I can't imagine how it can get better but I'm sure it's going to get better <laughs> and I really have to thank um, the organization here from Prague because I mean coming into a one a first time event um, and pulling it off like this is absolutely extraordinary and I really have to thank you so much for everything you've done to make this happen. I also would like to thank the team from the Global Champions Tour who have been absolutely amazing and you know we can't be there without them. The grooms, course designer Oliana <laughs> um, and to Longines and you know without the support from everybody you know you can't pull off something like this but it's absolutely amazing sport and it's unique. Absolutely first class. Okay, questions, any questions from the floor? One down here, I'm not sure we've got a mic. Just, just speak up. <laughs> Who's it for? a lot of pressure and um, especially for me being last to go um, so and you know the best riders in the world are here with their best horses they've prepared them specifically for this competition um, and you know I think in, in a stadium like this with an atmosphere like this when I came into the ring I couldn't hear anything and um, it just goes to show the, the concentration and and the interest that everybody has and the passion that everybody has in this sport. And I think that, um, you know, as a rider, um, I've ridden not as much as Ludger. <laughs> um, and not won as much as Ludger, but I've ridden in a lot of, a lot of nice shows, three Olympics, four world championships, and ma many global tours since day one. Um, but I've never had this kind of feeling ever in my life. Okay, super. Uh, any questions? from the rest of the floor for our lineup. Okay. Well, it remains to say, if he's, oh, we've got one down here. Do you want to just stand up and give us your question? Who's it directed to? Uh, well, it's probably what Mark Tom said, because you have said so many things, so many wonderful things about the organization here. And it's the first time. Uh, say, do you think that the Czech Republic generally would be any best destination for the Western competitions and you would trust the country generally to organize I think that's probably a young question. Yes, of course, uh, especially after this weekend, uh, you know, there's not many organizations who can pull off something like this. Um, you know, they were, uh, everything what they said they were going to do, they did. 
We had a great uh, cooperation together with uh, integration with uh, Global Tour together uh, on the sportive side. Uh, but on the local side, the organizations, they did a, a lot of work the last year. And obviously, uh, we trust them because next year we're going to be here back again. And uh, we will definitely be back uh, after in the future as well. Uh, and uh, I think we will get more stronger and stronger. And uh, if there is a little, you know, things which will not didn't work well this time, for sure we will do it better next time. It's okay. Yeah, I would just like to add one thing also, which was a uh, even for an old guy like me, <laughs> an interesting experience I've made. Um, the, the atmosphere behind the curtains, you know, the other day, I think it wasn't yesterday, the day before, I was walking around a little bit in the, in the stands and the, the people, the interest of the people attending, coming, wanting photos, wanting a signature, I was, I thought, because it's the first time for me to be in Prague and I, I didn't think that somebody would recognize me, but I was going around and normally when you go to places like you've been there a hundred times and you know, maybe probably you want also something, they somehow know you. But I, I was here the first time and the excitement and the interest of the people was really special experience. So I think it's, it's a perfect place to, to come with our horses and to compete and to, to have such an event. Excellent. Okay. Any further questions? Okay, excellent. It, I can see our course designers down there. It's great to see you've got a medal, Juliano, because it's well deserved. Congratulations on a superb job. <laughs> right the way through. And all it remains to say is we're not done yet because we've got another amazing day coming tomorrow with the Global Champions League Super Cup tomorrow as well. But a huge, huge well done to everyone here. Congratulations to everyone involved. The Longchamp Global Champions Tour Super Grand Prix Superstar is Edwina Tox Alexander and I'm Alan Pierre.